What's going on everybody? It's Richard Koberger here, the Blue Collar Nerd. And in this video, I'm going to be giving an overview of what the process is like to switch from Successware over to Service Titan. So the idea here is just to take away some of the mystery of what that process looks like, because you might be worried that it would look something a little like this. <laughs> But the truth is that thousands of companies have switched over to Service Titan and over 250 of those companies did come specifically from Successware. And so there is a tried and true process. Now the onboarding process as a whole could take anywhere between three and 12 weeks, depending on various factors such as the size of your business and your business's needs in terms of configuring the software. And this is something that your onboarder will make very clear to you once they've done a little bit of digging into your business. So the first step in onboarding is the welcome call. Now in this call, you're introduced to the manager who is overseeing your onboarding and they will go over the rest of the process and kind of start to set expectations with you. They may ask a few probing questions about your business in this call, but mainly this is just introductions and setting expectations. And the onboarder you meet during this call is going to be the person who is going to stay by your side and hold your hand throughout this entire process. And it's not as weird as it sounds, it's, it's, it's nice. Now after the welcome call, you'll do the onboarding jumpstart. The onboarding jumpstart is basically like a setup wizard. This is where you'll go through and start to set up some of your basic settings in Service Titan. Things like your business units and your job types. And if you're not sure right now what those words mean within Service Titan, don't worry, it really walks you through it and helps you understand everything as you're going along. Now once you've got that taken care of, you'll have a discovery call with your onboarder. And on this call, your onboarder will be digging a lot deeper into your business to find out how you're going to need Service Titan to be configured. For example, do you charge tax? Do you charge tax all the time or just sometimes? Do you have memberships? How do those memberships work? Things like that. And depending on your answers to those questions, they will schedule out focused calls to dig into and help set up those particular areas. This is also the call where you will schedule a targeted go live date, meaning the date that you officially start using Service Titan live. Next comes the data transfer and review. This is where Service Titan will do the initial data transfer of all of your success word data and put it into Service Titan. Now Service Titan does have its own dedicated data migration team that once again has moved data over from Successware to Service Titan hundreds of times before. So if you are on server-based Successware, then talk to your IT person, they'll be able to take the data out so that you can provide it to Service Titan. If you are on cloud-based Successware, then you will need to send in a request to Successware to get your data. If you do plan on making the switch, then it's gonna be best to let Successware know as soon as possible, especially if you're on cloud-based. So my recommendation would be after you've signed a contract with Service Titan, so you know for sure that you are making the switch, go ahead and let Successware know so that they can start getting that data for you. That way you don't have any holdups over getting your data out so that you can get started with Service Titan. By letting them know early, you'll have a better idea of timeline. Now a good tip here is before you send this data over to Service Titan to be imported, this is a great opportunity to do some cleanup because you don't want to bring over any mess into the new system. For example, your price book. If you have 500 items in your price book, but you only ever use 100 of them, then here's an excellent opportunity to go ahead and clean out all of that clutter. Now Service Titan is actually going to transfer your data over twice. This first time that we're doing it, it's just to make sure that everything gets transferred over to your liking. And what I mean by that is different companies tend to use different fields within a software different ways. So maybe a certain type of information got moved over to Service Titan as notes, but really you wanted it as a tag. Or maybe you would just prefer things be formatted differently. A lot of people do tend to glaze over this initial data transfer step and not really dig in and look at the data in Service Titan to make sure that it is to their liking. But that will eventually cause problems for you down the road. So it's really important to take the time during this step to really dig into the data in Service Titan to make sure that it looks exactly the way you want it to look and everything moved into the places that you wanted it to move to. Because this is the time when it's the easiest to fix. And of course, you're not just on your own through any of this process. You've still got your onboarder who's gonna be right there by your side, still holding your hand, which is undoubtedly by now very sweaty. So your onboarder will guide you through that whole process and even help you clean up your data. Now, another quick tip is if you have client concerns filled out in Successware, I would recommend that you ask your onboarder to have those imported over into the Service Titan Task Manager. The Task Manager works a little bit differently than client concerns work in Successware, but in my opinion, that's the best place to transfer them over to. Once all the data is the way you like it, then we will move all the data 
data over again, closer to your go live so that everything is up to date. So after that data transfer and review comes the various focused calls. These are calls that will dig into specific areas of your business and are based on the answers that you provided during that discovery call with your onboarder. For example, there could be a call on phones, a call on memberships, a call on the price book, etc. And the purpose of these calls is to dig deep on a specific area and get everything set up the way you need it set up. Now, after all of these various focused calls are done, then there's going to be a training session with both your office staff and your field staff that Service Titan provides. But, and this is a big but. <laughs> However, and this is a big however, in order to really set your team up for success, you're gonna wanna make sure that they've been training long before these training calls actually happen. In order to really have a successful transition, all of the staff needs to be involved early and they need to be training early and often. And there are several ways that you can go ahead and get that process started with them. One way is the Service Titan Training Academy. This is something built into Service Titan where there are certain learning paths, so different roles have different paths. For example, there's a CSR path, versus a different technician path, versus a different office manager path. And if somebody wears multiple hats, then they can just take the multiple paths. And these are videos, interactive videos, and quizzes that will help them learn the software. And managers are able to see and track which courses have been completed. Service Titan also offers various ongoing webinars that are live that anybody can sign up for. And these webinars aren't even all just about the software. Some of these webinars also have battle-tested business best practices to help people in every single role on your team improve their performance. In case you're not sure where to find those, I'll put a link in the description down below. And finally, there is the Next account. The Next account is great, especially for hands-on learners. I know that that's the way I learn the best, and so that's where I got the most value when I was learning. The Next account is Service Titan's sandbox environment. And why is it called a sandbox? Because it's where we go to play. The Next account just has a snapshot of your data from a certain point in time, but it is not your live account and it resets itself every week. That means you can go in there and mess around and not have to worry at all about messing anything up because you can't do any real world damage. So what I would recommend is after your staff has gone through the training academy and attended a few webinars, have them start doing their jobs in Service Titan during their downtime. For example, after a CSR hangs up with a customer and does their job within Successware, they would then go into the next account and do that job Job again in Service Titan. That way they're getting real practice doing their actual jobs in Service Titan as early as they can. Service Titan also has a very helpful built-in help widget and from there anybody using Service Titan can start a support chat, a live chat to get help with whatever issue they're facing, which I'll point out is not something that they're going to need to do until after onboarding is over because during the onboarding process your onboarder is your dedicated support person and they can also quickly search the knowledge base. Service Titan has a ton of help articles complete with screenshots and detailed instructions on how to do pretty much anything within the software and those articles are all housed within the knowledge base. Another great place to get support is the Service Titan Mastermind Facebook group. This is a Facebook group full of Service Titan users and if you have a question you can post in there and usually somebody will help you out within a few minutes. Just keep in mind that that group is the community. So it's not where you want to go if you have an urgent issue. You definitely want to go through the official support channels for anything that's urgent. But if you just have broader questions and you're wondering how other companies are doing certain things, well then the mastermind group can give you some great insights there. And again, that's not a resource that you'll wanna use during onboarding because again, during onboarding, you have your onboarder as your dedicated support. And beyond just that, team involvement in general is crucial to successful onboarding. Let your team know early that you're making a change, make sure that they're involved with the onboarding process as much as possible, and do everything you can to get their buy-in. Make sure that they know that while onboarding is work and everybody is going to have to learn some new things. Ultimately, in the long run, this change is going to make their jobs easier and it's going to be beneficial for the company as a whole. Make it very clear to your team what's in it for them. It's going to be a lot easier to get a team member's buy-in once they understand how this is going to make their lives easier specifically. Now, after you've had your field and office staff training, then all of your success where data will be imported one more time to get it all up to date and then that's it, that's the onboarding process, it's time for go live. Now keep in mind that onboarding and going live with Service Titan does not equal full adoption of Service Titan. Service Titan does a lot of stuff and overall is pretty different from Successware. So to really take full advantage of it and use all of its features, it's gonna take you and your team some time. So don't expect to be a full Service Titan expert on the day of go live. It's just not a realistic expectation and you'll drive yourself crazy trying to achieve that goal. Instead, you should expect that on go live, you and 
your team will have a solid understanding of how to do their jobs within Service Titan, while still knowing that there's a lot more the software can do and a lot more value that you can derive out of it going forward. And Service Titan knows this, and that's why they've built this tool called Titan Score. It's a zero to 100 score that lets you know how much of Service Titan you're actually utilizing. And by clicking into that score, you can drill in and see what you are and are not using and what you can do to improve your score. Another good thing to keep in mind and prepare for as you're in this onboarding process is that Service Titan is a lot more automated than Successware, and that has an effect on what people do day to day. For example, in Service Titan, there is no technician debrief form to be filled out because the system already knows all of that information. The system will already know if a membership was sold, the system will already know if it was a replacement opportunity, etc. So it's important during the onboarding process to work with your onboarder, identify those areas where Service Titan is going to automate a job that used to be manual, and start doing some thinking about what the person that used to do that is going to do going forward. Now just to be perfectly clear, increased automation does not mean that anybody within your company has to lose their job. All that it means for sure is increased efficiency. It's just going to allow your team to spend more of their time focusing on the things that truly drive value for the business. Nonetheless, you do have to start thinking about that early about, okay, what are the things that are going to really drive value for my business that I can direct my team's attention to? Because ultimately you're going to have increased capacity due to this automation. It's also important to have this conversation early with your team because when your team members see that a lot of the tasks that they do are now automated in the newer system, that's probably going to make them feel a little bit nervous and it's important to make sure that they know early on what your plans are. It's also super important to ensure that your team is training. Track their progress in the Service Titan Academy, make sure that they are truly going into that next account and doing their jobs over there so that they're getting used to the new system and block them off some time so that they can attend those ongoing webinars. Now, another important thing to note here is that Successware is part operational software and part accounting software. Service Titan is a fully operational software. It is not an accounting software. Service Titan does keep track of all of your numbers, but it pushes those over to QuickBooks via their QuickBooks integration. And while this does mean getting QuickBooks and learning to use it if you or your accounting staff don't already know, ultimately it does also lead to better and more reliable numbers. And that's because when the operational software and the accounting software are all one, the numbers are going to match, but that doesn't make them correct. And in fact, it makes it almost impossible to tell if they are correct or not, because there's nothing to throw a red flag to help you dig in deeper to somewhere where there might be an issue. Whereas when there's separate software is connected by an integration, you will get errors when something isn't right. Using QuickBooks also means that your financials will be GAAP compliant. GAAP stands for Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. Overall, it means that you'll have to have a better understanding of your financials, which while that is more work, it's of course going to be beneficial to your business. And at the time of filming this video, which is June of 2020, Service Titan is offering accounting training to anybody who's switching over from Successware. And while we're on the topic, Service Titan is also offering no payments until November 1st, 2020 for anybody who is switching over from Successware. Now, of course, those are the offers at the time of me recording this video. So if you're watching this at some point off in the future, you should go to servicetitan.com slash pointman to check out whatever current offers are going on. Now, the last thing I'll say is that the onboarding process, it is hard. If you're not familiar with me already, my name's Richard and I worked as an operational manager over at my dad's company near Atlanta, Georgia called Comfort Control, which is an HVAC company. And we transitioned to Service Titan back in 2015. We didn't come from Successware specifically, but we did come from a different software. And Service Titan's grown a whole lot since then and the onboarding process is not the same as it was when I onboarded. But nonetheless, I, I know and I understand that the onboarding process, it is a big investment of time and effort. But what I can say is that it was very much worth it and that investment is still continuing to pay dividends years later. Service Titan's brought a lot of value to our business. It's made it a lot easier to run. It's made it a lot easier to get the numbers that we need. Overall, it's made everybody's jobs easier from CSRs to payroll managers to technicians. Plus, it's helped us offer all of the modern conveniences that customers expect in 2020. You know, being able to pay online, getting a dispatch text to see who's coming to their house, being able to track the technician's location, things like that. So even though there's a lot to learn and at times the process was frustrating, what I can honestly say is that it was worth it. Anyways, that's all I got for today. I hope that I was able to help you out and take some of the mystery away of what the process would be like were you to switch over from Successware to Service Titan. Be sure to hit like if you liked this video and got some value out of it and subscribe to Service Titan's YouTube channel if you've not done that already. We post some videos here that will help you get even more value out of the software, so it's definitely worth a subscribe. Appreciate it. Peace.